as we get into this one, um, the very first thing that I want everyone to do is just create a little bit of space. So sometimes in some, some yoga poses, you just need your mat. This one, you're going to need some more space. So you're going to be able to kind of roll around a little bit and bring, um, kind of maneuver and, and readjust. If you have the availability and if you have the option of having a few pillows or bolsters, um, that's also going to probably be something that can be very handy to have close to you. It's just going to help if you get into a certain situation or pose and you're interested in possibly needing a little bit of support or maybe your body or your, the shape of your body is needing um, to adjust or reposition, um, those bolsters can really help. Okay, so let's get going. So to begin with, just to kind of create a little bit of grounding, finding, um, finding some space. And, and when I say some space, um, I'm hoping some mental space. So finding some space in the brain, finding some space in the mind, in the stories, and whatever's been coming up for you so far, um, we're just going to release it. We're just going to slowly take a few deep breaths, activate the hands. And as you breathe and you notice, again, that mind is going to be there all the time. It's, it's meant to be. But as you notice the mind, just kind of, you know, allow it to become a little bit hazy. A little bit not as, not as in the forefront. The piece for myself that I do just automatically is as I breathe and as I begin to kind of just tune into my physical self, I immediately start to kind of move and, and kind of create some, yeah, some, some um, understanding of where there might be some tight spots or the, where there might be some areas that I really need to be working on. Like I said, today's focus is definitely on the hips, but doesn't mean that if we're working on the hips that we're not still getting benefit in the spine or the shoulders or could be any other area of the calves and the hamstrings or the quads. So just being mindful and tuning into wherever your spots are. And to begin with, we're going to have the legs straight out in front. Scooch back a little bit more so you can see. As you allow the legs to go out in front, I'm just going to get you to give them a little shake. And I want you to really, again, find those sit bones. So grab hold of the fleshy part of the glutes. Give the legs a little shake. And then taking a deep breath. Lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, I want you, with your fingertips for support, to slowly just begin to walk your body forward. So as you walk your body forward, you can do a couple of little mini adjustments. You can kind of shift the hips, left, right, left, right. So your, your body, are, you're not going into your full capacity of your forward bend, but you're just beginning to shift forward with the upper body, keeping the spine nice and strong, nice and straight. And then what you're doing is you're just creating a little bit of shift within the glutes and the hips. So you're drawing, for instance, that right foot slightly forward while you're drawing the left leg or the left hip back. And you're kind of alternating between the two. It's another variation of walking it out. So this is something that you would do if you were in downward dog or even in mountain pose. So as you do this shift and this movement, it can create just this beautiful um, kind of connecting with how that tailbone and lower lumbar is, is maneuvering as well, as well as the hips. That area is so directly connected. So it's really important just to kind of tune into that space. As you hold here, take another deep breath in. Once again, elongate through the spine. And for this one, I want you to visualize drawing the tummy ever so slightly um, forward first and then slightly down. So again, you could be way up here and this would be your, your forward movement or your forward bend. Just being mindful not to let the mind begin to create stories in, in your poses, in your shapes. Your shape is going to be different than my shape since our bodies are different. That's just, that's just the beautifulness of being human. So as we come into this one, and again, you're allowing that tummy to come forward and then slightly down. 
See what it feels like to kind of shift and maneuver through the spine. So drawing the shoulders left and right, left and right. If it feels right for you, I'm going to walk my hands a little bit further forward, maybe place them on my legs in some area, tops of my legs, above or below the knees, maybe the ankles or the bottom of the feet. Again, whatever feels right and wherever your body's wanting to go this morning is, is I encourage you to go there. As you hold this for another breath or two, just noticing any areas that are kind of being highlighted. And we're not going to go into them, but I do want you to bring them to your mind's eye. So you can kind of just breathe into them, create a little bit of space, create a little bit of connection there, and then slowly walk yourself up. Give the legs a little shake. 